Now, the Speaker of the House of Representatives says embracing and leveraging pluralism could propel Nigeria towards a more unified and prosperous future. He said this at a dialogue on Nigeria's search for national integration conference by the Kuka Center at the National Peace Committee with support from the UK Eight Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office. Moyo Thomas reports. The plurality of Nigeria has been one of the unique things about the country. But Hannes and the country's diversity is a different kettle of fish. Is why the Nigerian state refuses to hold. Here, getting answers and defining strategies is the essence of the summit. Bishop Kuka says national cohesion is important because without it, it is impossible for a country to develop. We can see with the devastation of our country, Boko Haram, Iswa, now bandits, now all kinds of people. You know, when you look at these bandits on television, you ask yourself, a country like Nigeria, with medical doctors, lawyers, some of the best brands in the world, these are the kind of characters holding our country to ransom. Somebody has left the window open. Speaker Tajudi in Abbas, represented by the Deputy Speaker, says one of the greatest challenges facing the current government is managing diversity and rebuilding trust among Nigerians. The President challenged Nigerians to harness the country's rich diversity as a uniquely powerful tool for advancing prosperity and national development. The challenges faced in achieving cohesion and integration in Nigeria was traced to the background and formation of Nigeria. Some members of the panel drawn from the media, legal, civil society and security sector therefore called for a review of the constitution to give everyone a sense of belonging. The law can never capture everything. What we need to reform is not the constitution. What we need to reform is our value system, our commitment to strong ethics, that this is not fair. We intend to develop a mechanism for helping ordinary Nigerians, ordinary citizens, people in the university, to start thinking through a bit more critically about how um, we can make this country a better place. And I think we just have to encourage our people to continue to agitate. There is no overemphasizing that nation building is a collective responsibility. And as the summit has rightly pointed out, continuous agitation from everyone for accountability from our leaders is a part in the right direction. Moya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.